you've made a, a couple of statements, at least two that I've read, mm -hmm. that the newspapers carried. Mm -hmm. One was, I think, that marriage is a sham or a scam mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. So somebody will say, why is it preparing you? Yeah, which is a fair question, <laughs> to be honest. It is. But then if something is hurting, or, if, or not even hurting, if someone is so particular about something, maybe the person is coming from a place of knowledge like or like experience at least they say that experience is the best teacher and apart from that i've just noticed that a lot of people are getting married for the wrong reasons mm. a lot of people are doing it because of pressure a lot of people believe that oh yes it's time i'm in my 30s why why shouldn't i be and then you end up being with people that you probably would have never ended up being with in the first place mm. bad marriages and i just feel like we should just take some time to actually love ourselves first. Mm -hmm. I believe that if I don't love myself, if I don't have th these reminders to remind myself of who I am, how can someone else fall in love with me? Yeah, yeah. So that's just how I look, especially from a woman's perspective. And that's why I'm particular about women going into marriages and, you know, just going into it because of the pressure. It's, it has to be deeper than that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of us are not thinking about it. We're just thinking about the wedding yeah. and, you know, the honeymoon. Yeah. But marriage is so much deeper than that. I know. <laughs> So I mean I don't want to I don't want to ask you too many questions about you know so that it, it's not if you are defending mm -hmm. this point of view but it's really confusing to me like I literally had somebody because I'm not married mm. and I had somebody close to me I don't want to put her on the spot <laughs> and say you know you need to get and I'm like but you just told me the story of three people who are dearly and I'm a marriage when marriage works it's a beautiful beautiful thing, thing. I've seen some marriages that I love. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'm like, you just told me about these three people. One of them we knew about, the other one we didn't even know. Mm -hmm. It just, it turned out that they had been, we didn't know. Mm -hmm. you know? And another one that just happened. Yes, like, you're not pressuring making a case for me. Mm -hmm. Well, why, is it, is it like Misery Likes Company? I feel like it's, it's, it's that. It's also, there's this amazing book that I um, started that I've been reading. Well, I finished reading it, or I've mm -hmm. read in the past. It's called Women Don't Owe, Owe You Pretty. Yes. It's by Florence Given. Yeah. And in that book, that book really sort of, in a sense, changed my perspective and my mind. Mm. Because being a natural rebel, it's easy for you to, yes, be the bully, you know what I mean? And be, and, you know, say, oh, yeah, you're choosing the easier option by mm. deciding to be in a marriage where your husband is beating you. But at the end of the day, when I read that book, I realized that it's actually very important for you, if you want to change society, you've also got to understand why people are doing what society wants. Mm -hmm. It's easier at the mm -hmm. end of the day. It's mm -hmm. easier for a woman to settle down, get married at 25. At least her parents will not be disturbing her. People will not say, go and marry. Like, it's easier to go that route. But if you as a woman have decided that that's not necessarily what you want for yourself, mm -hmm. you can't now start to look down on women that want that. Mm -hmm. And that's really it. Yeah. So it's obviously easier for your friend to encourage you to get married. So yes, it's a mixture of Misery Love's company, and it's easier to follow society. It's easier. It's not for everybody. Society. Not everybody is supposed to be rebellious. Yeah. yeah. And at the same time, not everybody is supposed to get married. Not everybody is supposed to have kids. Like, it's just what it is. Yeah, yeah. So I feel once I read that book, I realized that, yeah, all these statements will constantly come because that's what society mm -hmm. wants and that's what society has dictated. And it's easier to follow that path. But I don't believe in things being easy, so yeah. I'll be a rebel to the day I die. <laughs> You mentioned that you didn't have a lot of paternal love growing mm. up. That's fascinating. Because you also talked about your dad being a forgiving person. Mm. So what was going on there? My parents are not together. They, they never got married. Right. I'm oh, what right. they call a love child. <laughs> the best kind. <laughs> <it>? Yes. <laughs> so I believe I was crazy out of love and all that. And so I've only really known maternal right. so love. So you grew up and, with your mom. Yes, I grew up with my mom. My mom was my mom and dad. Mm -hmm. My dad was there. It's not like he wasn't there, but he just really mm -hmm. physically was not. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, he did what he needed to do. Right, right. But were they cordial? Ish. <laughs> right, enough. Enough. There was <laughs> no enough drama that you had to deal with. To be honest, up. and I give that major shout out to my mom because there could have been. Right. Well, and if there was, she clearly she guarded me from, from it. So, yeah. 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 Do you think that there's something you would have gotten if you had grown up closer to your dad? Oh, like me as a person, I'm very confident. And I feel like sometimes I'm, my confidence is a shield. But I feel like if I was, or if I grew up with my dad, I wouldn't, he wouldn't need to be a show. Like, nobody can tell me anything. Yeah. <laughs> especially because of who my dad is and how my dad is. Yeah. You, no one, especially men, especially the opposite sex, they cannot, <laughs> you cannot deceive me. Yeah. <laughs> if that yeah. makes sense. How is your relationship now that you've grown? With my dad? getting closer? Yes, or? yes, we are a lot closer. Not as close as it should be, but mm. then again, I feel like it would be quite pretentious if we start 
trying to make up. Like I'm, I'm, I'm that kind of person. I don't like when people make up for lost time. Like it's mm. past. So let's see what we can do with, with what, what we, we have, have now. That's powerful. Yeah. You don't like when people try to make up for lost no, time. No, I don't like it. Because a waste of energy. Yeah, isn't I, feel, it? I feel, and I feel like it's pretentious. I feel like it's, it's because you know the time was lost. That's why you're trying to make. So that means that's not really your genuine intention. Yeah. Why do you think people do that? Because they feel bad. Mm. We're all born with a conscience. We're all born mm. with, you know, that thing that makes you, mm, this thing you're doing is not good. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. You know, so I feel like at a point, you start, it starts to dig in and then you try to compensate. But depending on the person, some people are more forgiving. I'm, I'm forgiving, but I'm not, I don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You spend a lot of time thinking, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> Too much time. <laughs> <laughs> is that stressful? Um, or does it give you more peace? It gives me more peace, but I will not lie that there is some stress with it. A lot of people that are close to me always say, Mo, you overthink. You're thinking too much. Stop thinking. Like, just relax. But I feel like if I relax, that's when I lose it all. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather think. Mm -hmm. But do people think you're a control freak? Then? Yes. <laughs> I am a control freak. <laughs> I love being control. <laughs> <laughs> and is that a good, again, is that a good or a bad thing? Not always. Not always a good thing. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And not ways, always a bad thing. Not always a bad thing. In what ways is it good and in what ways is it bad? I feel like you need some control. Hmm. Like, free will, in a sense, is actually God's way of giving us some control. I love that. For us to decide what we want to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I feel like you need to be, you know, there needs to be some degree of control, but then sometimes right. don't let it, don't let it overpower you, mm -hmm. that you don't enjoy the moments mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. come yeah. along. I had a